It was the same Soviet story of shrouding their space research in secrecy. In 1966, the Soviet Union's Luna 9 probe, cushioned by airbags, successfully landed on the moon and returned the first pictures from the surface. Ever since, governments have dominated the design and delivery of lunar landers, with the United States, China, Israel, and India all making attempts. Now the action is shifting from governments to a number of commercial outfits that are trying to make lunar exploration happen on fast schedules and lean budgets. Next year, one company's lander is set to touch down on the moon, where it will hunt for a critical and scarce resource. Water. Astrobotic, a startup based in an unassuming Pittsburgh warehouse, has received a slice of NASA's $2.6 billion program intended to galvanize the private sector's development of lunar landers and rovers. Commercial Lunar Payload Services, or CLIPS, is supporting astrobotic and similar companies with the goal of sending landers to the moon twice a year, along with a bevy of scientific instruments. First up for astrobotic is Peregrine, a treehouse-sized lander expected to launch from Cape Canaveral, Florida next year aboard a Vulcan rocket. It will chart a course for Lacus Mortis, a smooth plain of lava near the moon's equator. The capabilities of the 21 instrument payloads aboard Peregrine will be somewhat limited, since the lander will be stuck in one spot. But it will provide a baseline for how landers contaminate the surface with their own gases, which confounds the hunt for water, as well as show how its payload of instruments work together. In 2023, Astrobotic plans to launch a larger lander, Griffin, which will ferry the NASA-engineered Viper rover to the moon. Its instruments should determine not only the trace abundances of water, but also its origin. How much of the water comes from solar wind versus asteroids or comet collisions? Astrobotic isn't the only private company working under the auspices of NASA's CLIPS program. Houston-based Intuitive Machines will launch its Nova C around the same time as Peregrine. And another lander, built by Maston Space Systems in California, is set to launch in 2023. If all goes well, the lander program will deliver a steady supply of experiments across wide-ranging fields of science. Researchers are planning an instrument to probe the moon's interior, and another to snap the first ever picture of Earth's magnetic field from outside the planet. Even astronomers will hitch a ride, as a radio telescope is placed on the moon's far side, where it can scan the cosmos amid a quiet unknown on Earth.